everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing all the spring vibes with you guys i am finally getting out my spring decorations i feel like i'm the last one here on youtube to be decorating for spring but it's all good everything you guys probably saw is now laid out all over the dining table which i love to just lay everything out and then i can pull from there i just find myself being more organized and then it's not as difficult to decorate that way so we are all ready to go. We made this delicious maple iced coffee. Highly recommend. I don't know if it's the maple syrup I used or what, but this has got to be one of the best iced coffees that I've ever had. And I made it right here at home and you guys saw it for yourself. So, so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this short and sweet, but let's go ahead and dive right into the decorating. I'm so excited to share this with you guys and take you along. And I just know it's gonna come together so, so good. So let's dive right in. Anytime I begin any type of seasonal decorating, my favorite place to start is the fireplace mantle. This is definitely the part of the room that draws your eye the second you walk in the front door and it definitely stands out the most. So I love to start here. So if you are someone that struggles with where to start, like I do, I try and pick the easiest spots first, step back, take a look at the room or leave the room, walk back in and see where your eye goes first. And I often love to start there. This mantle definitely was a little bit of a struggle. I have a couple garlands from last year. And then like I just showed, I picked up a couple new fresh leaved garlands from Michaels this year. They were on 40% off anything Ashland and I had to grab them. I thought they were so beautiful. So at first I wanted to build up a really nice, thick, leafy, spring inspired mantle, but I was just struggling here. So I decided to go ahead and just put my two new garlands and pull my original ones. I also picked up this adorable Happy Easter banner from TJ Maxx for like six bucks. I didn't use both. I wanted to keep this simple. I may put up the Happy Easter one just for Easter day, but I figured just for the time being, I'll go ahead and just put up this cute little paper cutout one with bunnies and vegetables and all things spring inspired, just to add that little extra pop of color and something special to the fireplace. Today's video is a collaboration with my sweet friend Brienne and her YouTube channel is Brienne Walter. She has a whole urge to purge series. So if you guys want some really realistic, get in there motivation, she is so great to just put on and clean right along with her or she is a professional cleaner by day and she shares all kinds of professional cleaning tips and cleaners. She loves to keep her cleaning supplies as holistic and green as possible. I've been learning so much from her. She is my sweet Canadian friend to the north and I've just loved getting to know her and I know you guys will love her too. If you guys are here from Brienne's channel, welcome. I'm so excited to chat with y'all here in the comments and in just a moment, I'll go ahead and more properly introduce myself but I will have Brienne's channel linked just below in the description box and in the pinned comments. I've been having so much fun decorating these new shelves and has really taken away a lot of stress for me and I am keeping things really simple and I love working in groups of three. So fresh flowers, candles, and maybe like a little bunny. I think that is all you need. Put out maybe a couple throw pillows. 
um, a little bowl of candy. You really don't have to go overboard. And I think I'm really going to take the time to thin out a lot of my spring decorations because I just don't want to put out all that stuff. So I'd rather go through and just keep the things that really bring me joy. And I know that I'm going to use for years to come and that weren't necessarily just on trend that year and then I store it all year and then I end up donating it. So you're gonna see me kind of play with these shelves again, trying to keep it very less is more. I know I'm putting out a ton of bunnies, I'm fully aware, but that's what makes me happy. to quickly introduce myself if you popped over from Brianne's channel. I'm Katie and I love sharing lifestyle and homemaking content, shopping hauls, grocery hauls, recipes, organizing, decluttering, but I really love to decorate. And so if you guys are interested in any of that, I would absolutely love to have you and subscribe. I am a Southern California boy mama. I ride horses. I love camping, all of the above, and I'm so happy y'all are here. We recently put out our record player on display. Actually, in an upcoming video, I will show you guys. I bought the neatest little storage. Um, I guess you would say it's like a acrylic record display. I just got it on Amazon, but it allowed me to be able to pull a box out of these cabinets and allow more room for storage. And as a family, we love to play this record player, especially in the evenings as we're winding down. And this gives it more of more life having it here and not shoved in the cabinet. Now, if I'm being honest, I would love to upgrade this record player to something a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but it is definitely not at the top of the list right now. But um, Colton's been having a lot of fun with it and he's figured out how to turn it on, pair it with the speaker, put records on and off. And we've been listening to um, Frank Sinatra and all kinds of our favorite bands. And I just find it so homey and calming. We do not have a frame TV, so I love jumping on YouTube and finding a good screensaver for our TV. Um, I've been loving free TV wallpaper. It's actually run by Love Meg I recently shared. I just love her. I'm so happy she's back to YouTube and creating again. The space just feels complete having her here. I'm so happy. Um, but this is one of her channels and they have so many spring and Easter inspired ones. Um, any holiday coming up. So um, that is one of my go-to things and I think it just adds a ton to the room it doesn't play music or anything so you could easily just pop that up on the tv and just take your black hole of a tv on the wall and create it into this just beautiful art piece so that is such a fun free way to just add a little pop of spring or easter or any holiday really to your home
my 2024 family room spring slash Easter decorate with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun with it. And even though I kept it simple, I still feel like it is very festive. I think I'm just gonna keep this stuff up through Easter and then maybe take away the bunnies, but I'm definitely gonna be leaving some fresh flowers around the house because that always makes it feel like spring. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought of this one. Again, I know I kept it really simple, but I really feel like less is more these days. Um, and I had a really, really fun time decorating my new shelves. If you guys missed this video, we recently built out these arches. I have a full video dedicated just to that. It is just on my channel um, a couple videos ago. So it's very easy to find. Go back and check that one out. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys are new here, if you could please consider subscribing before you leave. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.